Hi, welcome back to Kirksby's. We've got a beautiful hive inspection going on today. We're going to be looking at hive one, which previously we thought was queenless. It wasn't queenless. Instead, she was laughing at the beekeeper, me. She was playing hide and go seek, and I was the brunt of the joke. She's so thoughtful. But she is doing well. Um, I, I went in midweek and, and found her. And also this time she actually had la eggs laying. That is huge. It, it, it tells me that that's the survival of the colony. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of relief I felt midweek during a queen check. It, I, I, she made me so happy. So let's dig into this hive and, and see what's there. You never know. She may play, I'll try to play hide and go seek again, but I come prepared this time. I got smoke. Yeah. that out it, it it was needing it it was time so let's see if uh what we got going on in here i decided to go ahead and use smoke i really want to drive everybody down again like i did uh, in midweek for the queen check and i think that'll be a more beneficial let's get everybody off of here Oh yeah, this one looks really good. Okay, again, I am changing out all the feet in the box. Now something I'm, I'm noticing here is they didn't feed near as much this week. Right off the bat, that tells me there is a nectar flow going on. Because they will take natural nectar, natural pollen, long before they'll take uh, supplement. And they have been going at it pretty darn good. So that tells me that we got a, a very, very good pop. Okay. Here, feeders are clean. I'm sure they'd be a lot happier with that. All right, we're just gonna drive them on down. It does make them a lot more flighty, but uh, that's okay. We, we can deal with that. At least I know that queen is going to drop to the bottom. Then 
didn't expect anything. Oh, whoop. Got her. Peter making a mess of things down here. They'll gather up back down over here, so I'm not too worried about that. We just put this this empty foundation in last night from the two frame nuke. Okay. Yeah, we got some, we got some outside pollen coming in. We got nectar coming in. And this is what it's like to be mooned. <laughs> now that they're they're feeding the larvae uh, royal jelly, and I think we got nectar, cap brood, different stages of a uh, little bit older larvae. Really nice. Oh, that's something really good going on here. We have a little girl starting to come out. She is she is working her way out. And the the females they will uh they'll have to work themselves out. The drones, they get help. I don't know why they get more assistance than others, but that looks like drone. That looks like drone. We may they may be producing a little bit of drone in here. Very nice. See larvae. I see a few eggs, not much though. That that'll improve. It'll improve with time. Not a problem. Ah, they're starting to draw this this frame out all through here. Looks good. He was trying to put some nectar in it. Very nice. Look at this. And guess who's here? There she is. Isn't she pretty? Look at her. She's just working it. She's just working it. She's probably going to try to get over the other side of of, the, of this. To, I'd really like. I'm if she's on this. She she's looking for cells to lay in. That's that is absolutely excellent. Uh, these the bees that are, look more gray. Those are your nurse bees. Uh, if they look fatter than the rest, and uh, those are going to be drones. I'm um, not really seeing any drones, though. See, nurse bees, that's, that's very good. <clears throat> but, uh, they, they, they're, they're, they're working this. I see some eggs down in there. So, yeah, she is working this very actively. We're gonna put her back in the box so we don't stretch her out. That, we, yeah, we found our queen. No hide and go seek today. Well, whew, sorry, it's it's really hot out here. I had that bee suit on because I don't want to get bee stung, especially if I don't know if I'm allergic. And. uh it was great. They, they, little flighty when I did the smoke. That's okay. But uh, I found her. She's doing just beautiful. And said Hive 2 decided to play hide and go seek. I think it's conspiracy theory. I have conspiracy theories on this. So they, they're, they're, they're just plotting against me. I know it. One queen probably emailed the second queen. Said, hey, it's. What a good laugh. <laughs> I saw this Geico, Geico commercial and 
man, these squirrels were having a blast. You got to try this. <laughs> if he, as he goes from one side of the box, can't go the other. Once he's looking at a frame, switch back to over the other side. You'll have him run for hours. And you know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Because, uh, I saw the ant tail end of the march. The funny thing about queens is where they go, everybody follows exactly what happened. So, Hive 2 was being cantankerous there. But I found fresh eggs. I ain't worried about it. I know she's in there. If there's three-day-old eggs in there, she's in there. So, I ain't worried about it. Uh, but Hive 1, other than a sm only a small amount of brood, which I took one good frame of brood out. Uh, last night, I, I you have to see my other video on I'm building a two-frame nuke. Uh, I do have them here. They are locked in. I got a screen over them. They cannot get out. They're locked in for 48 hours. We're in the first 24 hours of that 48 hours. Tonight will be be 24 hours total, and then they will be. I'll take that front entrance screen off. And let them out into the world, and they'd be so happy. They'd be, be happy. They're not happy right now. They, they'd be mad at me. Imprisonment. I hope they forgive me. I'm sure they will. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed the this episode. Be sure to hit that thumb, subscribe, share. Leave some comments. I, I I read every single comment. I love feedback. I like to hear some suggestions. Whatever you got, I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's highly, highly appreciated. So, till next time, we'll see you back here at Kirk's Bees, home of Jack's Honey. Have a good one.